Um, excuse me, are you the manager? Good, good. I need to talk to you. Now, I'm not usually one to complain or anything. I, I never complain, but I just, I need to say, I need to say this. I put my order in. That little waitress over there, now, she's a good waitress. She's done everything she's supposed to do, and I know it's not her fault. But I put in my order seven minutes ago, and my food is still not at the table. I've been timing it on my watch, and my food is still not out here. Yes, I, I ordered the steak. No, no, no. I had it cooked well done. But I know it should be here by now. It does not take longer than seven minutes to cook a well done steak. I cook at home all the time. This I just come out to eat today to treat myself. And it does not take longer than seven minutes to cook a well done steak. I see you got other customers in here. But I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about me. I'm worried about when my food's going to get out here because I need to get on about my business and about my day. Now, if you don't want my money, I'll go somewhere else. It seems like these businesses nowadays don't care about the customer. What happened to the customer's always right? I mean, I'm not asking for too much. I know you got a dining room full and you probably got a couple tickets ahead of me, but I want my steak and I want it now. And if you can't do that, then I'll go somewhere else. Oh, you don't care if I go somewhere else. Can I get the 1-800 number? I need the 1-800 number. What's your name? What's your name? Because I'm going to tell them how you treated me. All I did was check on my steak. I wasn't ugly to you. I wasn't rude to you. I just wanted to know where my steak was. And this is how you're going to treat me? You'll be hearing from them. And I hope they take your job because somebody else deserves to be in here besides you, the way you treat your customers.